So in this lecture, I am going to talk about a course of classical electrodynamics. classical electrodynamics so in this section first of all i will start with charged particle dynamics dynamics and the book which i am following book follow is classical electrodynamics by sp puri So, for this chapter, I am referring to its chapter 10. Now, It's relating to charged particle dynamics relating to motion of a charged particle in electric and magnetic field. So this is the first article of this book. So it's relating to motion of charged particle in electric and magnetic field so this first article is non relativistic motion of charged particle in constant field so I will divide this into three parts this article first constant field is this constant field is electric field and magnetic field then crossed uniform and constant electric and magnetic field crossed uniform and constant electric and magnetic field so I divided it into three parts so in this lecture I will talk about motion of a charged particle in constant uniform electric field so this is the title of my article that motion of a charged particle in constant 
uniform electric field so let us start with this article so consider a uniform electric field say it is x axis and say it is y axis so here it is the positive polarity and the field lines are from this direction to this direction and so on and say a charge is coming from this source in this direction if no field will be there this will remain undeviated but and say it is a negative charge that's what i assumed so it starts moving in this direction right so this is the path expected when no field is applied and this is the path when field is applied and the field is electric field and it will it is the velocity if it moves in this direction then this must have two components say if it is making an angle theta then this is this component is the b cos theta and this component is known as b sin theta if we use the velocity of the particle right at any time t so since i considered the charge in the uniform electric field so the equation of motion will be motion will be and m t square x y d t square is equal to e e i am taking here the magnitude of the charge and uh, m is the mass of the charged particle so in other words i can write down it as uh, if in place of this i can write down it in this form m x double dot e e since it is moving along this direction force is acting along the x axis so that means along y direction no force is acting so that means along y direction i can say that m y double dot must be equal to zero the x component will be there means only along x axis the force is acting but along y axis no force is acting right so now if i integrate it means my equation is mx double dot is equal to e e it can be written as x double dot is equal to e e by m and if i take integral so this integral is x dot is equal to e e m into t and c is the constant of integration and let v not be the initial velocity before entering the field entering the field and if i use boundary conditions so 
and it must have two components. One component is the V naught sine theta. This is along x axis, and another component is V naught cos of theta. So that means x component is basically V naught at t is equal to zero. This is at t is equal to zero. So if I use this condition here, so what I am getting that c must be equal to v naught sine of theta. So therefore, x dot comes out to be e e over m into t plus v naught sine theta. And if I again take its integral. Again, integrating this, so what we are getting that x is equal to e t square by 2m into e plus v naught sine of theta t. Plus integral integration constants and let us call it as uh, c1. But at t is equal to zero, x is equal to zero. So this makes c1 is equal to zero. So finally, the equation which we are getting e e by 2 m t square. Plus v naught sine theta into t. So this is the equation. And let me call it as equation number one. Now, what I will do? I will consider another equation. And what was that equation? Let m y double prime is equal to zero means uh, sorry y double dot and y double dot is equal to zero, which implies so again integrating it. What we are getting y dot is equal to v naught because its integral will be constant and it is equal to v naught cos of theta, as I talked about earlier here. Uh, at this point, yeah, this is the initial y component. I use this idea here, and then what I did, I again integrated. So y will become v naught cos of theta into t. So from here, t can be calculated as. Y over v naught cos of theta, right? So substituting this value of t in terms of y in this equation, and let me call this as equation number two. So if I substitute the value of t here and here, what was the resultant? So the resultant is x is equal to e over 2m and the t square. So the value of t will be v naught cos of theta. So it is t square means it's square plus. V naught sine theta and the value into t. So the value of the t will be y over v naught cos of theta. So this is the value of t as taken from equation two. So this reduces this because this will cancel out with it. So it is sine theta over cos theta. It is a tan theta. So let me write down it first of all. 
n theta y plus e e over 2 m v naught cos of theta x square and multiplied by y square. So now it is the equation of parabola. It seems like equation of parabola. So in other words, I can say that if a charged particle moves in uniform magnetic, sorry, electric field, it follows traje parabolic trajectory. It follows parabolic trajectory. And this is the conclusion of this article. This is the first part which I derived here. And in the next lecture, I will talk about motion of a charged particle in constant uniform magnetic field.